Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the grand finals of the December 20th 2K here from UMG. We are watching Zuma off the break. Denial with an overtime capture. They got it done in 42 seconds. That was the difference on a Ascent CTF. We're kicking things off here in Uplink with the Denial squad one game away from taking home the championship tonight. Prophecy, they're going to need two in a row, and they did an earlier comeback against Stunner. They were down 2-0, came back, won three straight with a round 11 victory to get in this position. And right now, you're going to see Parasite moving up with the early uplink. Not going to happen. Satellite drop. Now it's going to be Denial and Attach trying to push this one to that blue uplink position. Shout out to Pucket because he's going to cast this one solo. <laughs> yeah. And basically, all the play-by-play -by, -play by Pucket, we weren't able to get into the game, and they started it, so... Uh, we'll continue to talk about it, but do you think Denial's going to be able to close it out in the series, or do you think we're going to Game 5? Uh, you know, this should be Denial's game, but after watching Prophecy, they don't give up no matter what the situation is. Uh, they've been yeah. down in almost all the games we've watched today. They've come back in the majority of them, so don't count them out quite yet. At the start here, uh, let's talk a little bit about the map. We have, of course, Denial spawning out at the snow with the Escalator building near them. On the opposite end, you're going to see Prophecy so talk to me, Duffman. Who's got the easier advantage off the start? Um, the, in my opinion, the easiest advantage is the team that spawns, um, I believe it's Sentinel. It's uh, it's not the um, snow side spawn. It's the opposite the, yeah. by purple. Yep, that Sentinel. side spawn Nailed is it. the, uh, yeah, that side spawn is more advantageous in my opinion, just because of the options as far as being able to move in through Biolab. You can even toss it from there if you jump out of it. Um, and work your way in through snow. But as far as the other side, it's more difficult because you have to either work your way out through purple um, and, you know, into Biolab through green, or you have to work outskirts towards green, which is very difficult to get there. What a performance by Saints clearing the way. That is going to go through from Zuma 2-0 start. And Zuma had to do nothing there. All he had to do was follow Saints, who cleared the way with three straight kills. But now here's a triple from Zuma. Saints and Zuma taking over this game. Attached now with the objective is going to be working with his partner, trying to get in position for a big score. No score from Attached. He's not even going to go for the toss. They're getting greedy going for the two-point plays. Prophecy now on your screen. Ricky trying to stop this satellite, playing some base defense. Gets this one out after three straight kills. Legal in the kill feed as well as Prophecy pushes out. And you're going to see Ricky try and wait for his teammates to push up first potentially set up a pass here, something that we haven't really seen since the patch. And this could also be a position for him to go for the one point toss, gets cut down, four down for Denial though. It's gonna be Fierce pushing this one. And this is a two point jam. He's gonna get it through. We're all tied up, two minutes still to go. Yeah, wow. now what, what I noticed uh, initially, I think on the side Denial are on, which uh, as Duffman correctly pointed out, is, is considered to be the worst side um, because th there are no easy routes to run the ball. What they're effectively doing is grabbing the ball, holding it, and then rotating it all the way around to the top of the escalator. So then, if you push, for example, if you just grab the ball and run forward towards blue, they're going to spawn on their point. The better option is, like they're doing, to get the ball, get the cross um, in mid bio lab and green, and just rotate the ball green, and then you can set up for the two pointer, which is exactly what they did in the first. Prophecy in the last 60 seconds has dominated your kill feed. It's been all red. Uh, Legal trying to move the satellite through the building that comes in mid-round. He's going to have teammates in front of him. Just as I say that, they all drop. It's going to be replays with your satellite attached, trying to clear out the bio lab. And as I say that, it looks like replays is going to get chased down on the right side. Can he get through in time? There's a melee, big melee kill. One more player challenging from bio. Zuma keeps this alive, and he's going to get a melee of his own. This is at least a one-point play, and that is going to be it. No, he tosses it, bounces off the map, and he gets his own rebound for the offensive score. Zuma getting as lucky as can be, falls off the map after that one. Wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was like when, when you brick a, a free throw, but then go up for the two-point slam. So now we got Parasite trying to push this one through. Had a player right behind him, tosses the ball, tries to recover his health, doesn't get the kill. It's going to be Ricky trying to move up the satellite. Not happening. Replays gets the stop, and they will toss it out. 30 seconds still to go, and instead of tossing it out, it looks like Replays still has it, and he's going to be pushing through red. I just watched that play as <laughs> Zuma fell off the map after that one. A little trick shot action happening here in uh, Uplink. <laughs> Starting to see some fun plays 
but uh, Denial in control of it on the left favored side which is honestly very surprising considering prophecy you know being the team Buzzer that they are very, and, very smart at this oh missed just right two four prophecy is going to be trailing sorry to cut you off there duff no, i thought fine. zuma was going to clutch it in the final five seconds it, it aims just right that is two missed opportunities from this denial squad replays missed wide left zuma missing wide right it could have been a 6-2 game we'll see if that comes back to bite them prophecy now with the more difficult side they weren't able to convert many captures on that first one so this is going to be a bad position to start off in yeah that, another objective on this side is essentially to just replicate denial strategy uh Get, first of all, most importantly, get the cops and get the kills. You need to have a player bio lab, a player around purple next to the ball, and a player green with the ball carrier. Run the ball green and go, go for either the two pointer or if you zoom, throw it and go for the audacious. You know, get the th throw it, miss it, get the ball back, and then score the two pointer. Great cover. Ricky picks up two. You see the melee from legal, and there is a capture already. We're all tied up. Four minutes, 30 seconds to go. Denial considered to have the easier side. They're on their first possession with Zuma picking up the satellite. Going into purple here. Ricky is doing the damage to start. And we're going to see Zuma toss the ball, pick it back up. That is a full armor. He gets hit instantly with the stun, though. Just fears and Parasite up. They're doing a nice job of delaying it. Attached trying to rally in, but not in time. Parasite's going to get this satellite out. And now he's actually on the offensive push. He's got one player leading him. They're trying to get it out. And that was a big stop on the catwalk coming in from Denial. Replays now back on the attack. He's going for the one-point play, and he does score. 5-4. Denial takes the advantage once again. Denial in a power position here with the better side of the map. They just got to make sure they continue to lock down and control the spawns for Prophecy to ensure that they don't run the same routes, the same strategy that Denial did on the first half. Again, though, they're on the easy side. They just got to continue to push out that right side through purple. Once that building lowers um, within the next 30 seconds as well inside snow, they're going to have an even bigger advantage with cover to score more um, and take a lead. Yeah, it's interesting place. actually how how the building lower actually affects the map. You know, we, we, you don't you don't really Crazily. see much on uh, on competitive maps, but without the building there, the the uh, the side denial on, you can just throw the ball pretty much through snow to their flag uh, to establish control base. Whereas with the building, you know, it blocks it. Denial mm -hmm. is going off, guys. Replays with another toss is going to make this six four. You can see the whole team outslaying their opponents. Attached twenty one and eight with uh, a opportunity to score here one player to beat he's just going to toss that ball up trying to bait it out saints with the two piece on the opposite end attach charges the player laying prone goes for the toss can't get it off satellite still on the map replays is going to get the rebound and dunk it in three down for denial parasite last man up on the opposite side for prophecy is going to try and get onto this satellite and push this forward he actually has support now long ranger does it bounce in? It looks like it got hung up on green, and then he got blown up by a barrel. Replace cleans up Zuma and Parasite with that play totally worth as the satellite is now out of play. Denial, four-point lead, two minutes, ten seconds left to hold on. Wow, Denial in a great position here. It just sounds like, obviously we can't see in real time because we're not in the game, but it just sounds like while there is enough time for Prophecy to come back into this, Denial's just in complete control. They're out slaying, they're in positions, they're, they're, the kills where they're getting them are what matters the most, and that's not allowing Prophecy to do much of anything about it. Parasite is looking god tier right now. He just went on a four kill spree, cleaned up the entire Denial squad on his own. I don't know what more he can do. I'm looking for the rest of Prof to help him out. I mean, no one's going major negative. You got Ricky 20 and 27, 18, 21 from Fears and Legal 19 and 22. So it's not an absolute blowout. They just don't seem to have anything going for him. Denial getting multiples down at a time. And there's another shot from Zuma. Does it bounce in? Falls just right. Parasite and crew trying to get this satellite out. Legal trying to go for the satellite. They're going to push this up. They got two minutes, 10 seconds, or one minute, 10 seconds to work with. Two players in front of them. Make it three now. Parasite gets one. Legal waiting for cover. It's going to be replays taking out Ricky. So he's got to go for the melee here or go for the one-point attempt. 56 seconds left. He's got it. Can he push it through? No! Stopped at the goal line. You'll watch that one back, boys, and think, wow, that could have been. But no, they get the rebound. So 6-8, a one-possession game, 43 seconds left. And you're going to see Zuma 
jumping into a barrel of lava, the Ebola attacking. <laughs> and now, Ricky still keeping this alive. Top green goes for the one point play, at least tossing this up to his teammates. Parasite shooting canisters in the middle of the map to slow down Prophecy. 24 seconds left. Excuse me, slow down Denial. It's going to be Prophecy on the back end. Denial with control of snow outside. They're just keeping their opponents off of this satellite. One more attempt. Can Fears get to it? He's got opponents all over him. Parasite, last man alive, and he's going to unplug. 3-1. Denial is going to take it as time ticks down. Your final score, 8-6 to six here on Biolab. Denial crowned your 2K champions. 3-1 victory here in finals over Prophecy. And uh, you, I, I mean, when it came down to our final predictions, that was, I was right. But you predicted denial in quarterfinals, Puckett, that they were going to take this tournament. I know the squad. I, I watched them last week. We saw them in the 2K. And this is the same team. They're just too good at respawn. The slaying ability is the difference maker. That everyone on this team can kill. Uh, replays, you're always going to see him near the bottom of that list, but in the games he goes off, they blow out their opponents. Everyone on Denial finishing with a 1.0 or higher KD. 1.0 for Denial replays, 105 for Zuma, 139, the, the difference maker. Saints again, plus nine in a big matchup. I think at the start of this week or before this week, you wouldn't really have expected it, but after they've They've managed to go on a five-win five, uh, five win streak in the league, and I think that's indicative of their performance overall, and certainly it's been reflective of their performance in this tournament. Um, despite the 8-6 scoreline, I feel like it was they just comfortably outplayed Prof on both sides, uh, although it was only a, only a two-point game. And most importantly, I think finally we all got a prediction right which was good. <laughs> yeah, boys! Yes! Congratulations, um, lad. I, I think yeah. one of the big ones to, to point out there was Prof played from the favored side in the first half they weren't able to score. Uh, nope. Denial outscored them 4-2. That set the tone in that final game. They closed it out. No more flukes, no more round 11s. Denial, the stronger team tonight. And I'm going to say it now. Denial, your 2K champions, probably not making it back to the finals tomorrow. They haven't been able to repeat in the 5K after winning a 2K. Um, but I think this is a squad we're going to see in the top four come COD champs. If they stick with this roster, top four. Ah, Boom. Making bold predictions for no reason. It, it is a bold one. It is a bold one, mate. I like it. Uh, fellas, thoughts on the state of Call of Duty in North America right now? Who are your top five favorite teams after watching the games today, Duff? Top five favorite teams to watch. Denial, obviously. Um, Stunner. Not, not. This is not in particular order. Denial, Stunner, um, Prophecy, Phase. And Optic Gaming. OG? I think no purely, particular order, again. Oh, yeah, no order for me. I think purely based on today, though, from what we've seen, Prof, because of their S&D, Denial, obviously, champions, they were well-rounded on all three game modes. And as you said, Puggin in respawns as well. And I'm not sure about the others, to be honest. I think the phase, the phase TK even would be a good shot. They had an incredibly close game. I think, who was it versus Phase? Or yeah. Denial? Phase yeah. TK. That was a close game. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure about the fifth. Uh, do want to point out, Fears left the game early at the end of that one. A little rage quit action from him. <laughs> um, we've seen a few ragers today. One from Mochilla on Justice. He, he quit early, and we're seeing Fears bounce from Prophecy. Those are the squads I worry about, but I guess it's kind of commonplace these days. Swanee, am I reading into that one too much? Um, I... I think naturally you're going to be frustrated. I know Mochella gets frustrated quite a lot, and he's he's prone to the rage quitting, uh, subsequent tweeting of what happened. But um, no, I think you might. I, I think you are reading into it a bit too much. I wouldn't like to okay. overanalyze it. Rage quit isn't too big of a deal, guys. Prophecy is fine. Uh, we'll see them back tomorrow. We will see all of you tomorrow. The broadcast kicks off at 4 p.m. Eastern. Swanee, you're more than welcome to join us once again. If you want to sleep after being up for 48 hours, you're allowed to do that as well. Uh, Duffman is back, though. He's going to be with Mr. X, who brings you the action 4 p.m. to midnight, as always, here for the 5K. Fellas, any final thoughts or shout-outs before we go? Um, just well done to deny, I guess. I mean, aside from Pocket, I don't think any of us predicted it, but they've, they've yeah. proven that they're continuing a fine run of form, especially over the past week. They got a lot of talent. I think that we underestimated them 
um, undervalued them in the beginning of this title. Um, but they've, they've shown up very consistently and they continue to get better and better every single weekend. I'm excited to see how they fare up tomorrow. Um, but big shout out to the production crew here at MLG. And uh, it's been a long night, I know. And we'll be back doing it again tomorrow. So make sure you guys hit the follow button here on the ESR so you get notified when we go live tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern with the 5K. Absolutely. Big shout out to Stunner as well. They have proven to me this tournament that they are not a fluke. They are definitely a top contender. They went to the finals last week in the 5K. This week, they're going to make it into the round of four going out in the semifinals, but pulling off that upset over Optic Gaming, our reigning 5K champions. Denials takes another 2K. Impressive performance from all of the boys. Attached Saints, Zuma, and Replays. Congratulations on your big win tonight. Thanks to all the fans from all the teams watching tonight. We'll see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you.